I'm Dave Sampson, and welcome to Thrive TV for Friday, March 12th. Verkata's cloud-based enterprise security platform was breached this week when hackers gained access to 150,000 security cameras attached to the platform. The breach was executed in a very simple fashion. Super user credentials that provided access across multiple customer environments were found posted on the public internet. The breach allowed access to video streams from financial institutions, schools, hospitals, and even Tesla. Further, the hackers claim they were able to access confidential customer data, including financial information. This raises significant security concerns about the platform, its use of shared administrative credentials, and the ability to utilize those credentials from anywhere without the use of multi-factor authentication. This is one more example of third-party vendor risk as well as vulnerabilities that may exist from application architecture or management. The FBI and CISA issued an additional advisory yesterday on the rampant Microsoft Exchange server exploit. After news of the zero day attack surfaced last week, engineers have been working to deploy patches from Microsoft to remove the vulnerability. However, many exposed systems remain available on the public network. The K-12 Cybersecurity Resource Center published their annual state of cybersecurity report this week, which indicates an 18% increase in security incidents at schools since classes have moved online. Data breaches, ransomware, phishing, and denial of service attacks were most commonly reported. However, a majority of attacks also occurred in alternative forms, such as online classroom invasion. The report indicates that rural school districts with smaller student populations were found to be the primary victims of these cyber breaches. Headlines this week indicate a myriad of data breaches across a variety of sectors. It is important that every organization maintain an incident response plan as part of their formal security program, and further, that the plan specifically includes cybersecurity attack response. If you are unsure of your organizational security posture or have other questions related to your security program, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Finally this week, Thrive has announced further expansion in the Mid-Atlantic region with the acquisition of Howard Tech Advisors. This is Thrive's 10th acquisition since 2016. To our new team members in Elk Ridge, Maryland, welcome. Thanks for joining us this week. And don't forget to check out more on today's stories in the description box below. For Thrive TV, I'm Dave Sampson. Have a great weekend. And until next time, who's accessing your data?